Hello guys, got another tutorial for you today. Um, before we move on to anything more advanced, I thought it'd be beneficial to cover the basics of the scripting features uh, of the new Forge mode. Uh, I just want to make sure that everybody understands how the uh, how they all work. Um, just before we do anything too uh, too advanced. So we'll start with switches, move on to timers, then go to triggers. Uh, switches are really straightforward, as you would expect. Sort of, you press one, and something change, something happens. You press the other one, something else happens. So like this switch here, I've got linked to this light. It's going to be broadcasting on a channel, broadcast channel three. And so when I press this switch this light turns off uh, as you can tell this is actually an on switch but the on state for the light is actually no light so it can be a little counterintuitive so just keep that in mind that the lights are opposite to what you would think so this is a off light a off switch even sorry uh, so if we click on this one it turns the light back on straightforward so again just broadcasting on channel 3 and then we've got this light is listening on channel 3 as you can see in the light it's actually you have to set the broadcast channel not the power channel originally I thought power channel meant it would give power to the light but what it's actually doing is as you can read in the bottom gadgets with features such as animations listen to this channel and the light is considered to be an animation so we have to use the broadcast channel not the power channel if we move on to the next switch we've just got a toggle switch so essentially what these two switches do but built into one so this one is linked on a different frequency a uh, different channel even and it's linked to this light here so if we use this switch see it turns that light off if we use the same switch again you have to leave it a little bit I think there you go and it comes back on that's one thing to realize when using the toggle switch I think there's a little sort of cooldown period so just be aware that when you're testing it might not always work straight away it doesn't mean that you've done it wrong it's just that you might have to wait a little bit just for the cooldown to reset it's not very long so I don't think it'd be something that you'd run into far too often so that's the basics of switches really straightforward like I said they'd basically work as you would expect uh, moving on to timers though these are a little bit more complex um, the way that I've got them set up here is probably not the way that you would have would you would use them mainly because using a timer to turn on a light from a button press is what I've got set up here is probably I don't know it's not something that you would do normally unless you had sort of a room where you wanted I don't know like this room here you had like three lights and you wanted this one to come on and then wait a little bit and this one came on then wait a little bit and this one came on that's the only reason I would see uh, a timer being useful for that so either way what I've got here is a switch that I'm gonna press which will trigger this timer to start running and then when this timer finishes it will send a broadcast a message to this light so if we go into inside the scripting on this one you can see I've got the power channel set to 5 I've got a broadcast channel of 6 and my timer data is set to 5 so that will wait 5 seconds before it actually does the action that we've got it doing and then this switch is set to broadcast on channel 5 so what this is going to do is when I press this button it's going to turn on this timer so if we, we have to wait 5 seconds then the light should turn off there we go. Um, the problem with this is now 
this timer is still running so every five seconds it's broadcasting an on message which we don't really want it to do so what you would really do is you would use for this situation you would be using this timer on once so what this one will do is the same thing as the timer on but it'll only run one time so it'll do its five seconds and then it'll stop and it'll be done <coughs> so like I say this one is probably the one that you will use uh, similar situation over here but we're going to use off timers it's exactly the same procedure as that one but with one little extra step because I need to turn the light off first as you can see so now when I press this switch it's going to broadcast a message to this timer which is then going to count down and tell this light to turn off and which I think is about five or six seconds again and then the light should come back on there we are so again this is a fairly straightforward way of using the timers but you can get a lot more complex with them which I think timers is going to be one of the main things I focus on using and the switches uh, switches even and the triggers will be just ways to manipulate the timers uh, we have got again as well the same as the on um, this timer is still running so it's constantly broadcasting on that channel to say off every five or six seconds whatever it's set to so uh, again there is a timer off once that would be better to use in this situation and then the last time we've got here is a toggle so again similar to the switch toggle this will work both ways so it'll send an on and an off it'll just tell it'll send a message over the channel to an item and it'll say whatever you are now change to the opposite so again this light is on right now we've got a switch here linked up to this timer what you'll also notice is as well this timer because it's the same as the others where I said it carries on going this one will actually do that it will make the light come on and off every five or six seconds whatever I've got it set to let's have a check five seconds so every five seconds we've got a light coming on and then five seconds later it'll turn off and again you have a toggle once available to you which is I believe the one I used in the uh, timed walkways um, tutorial I think it could have been one of the other ones but I think it was the toggle so that's timers uh, yeah that's timers altogether like I said I want to do I want to get a bit more in depth with timers I've got some ideas for some tutorials uh, for some different features and things so look forward to seeing more of them here we have triggers oops uh, so we've got all the different types of triggers up and down here this is a simple sort of door it's the garage door it's from uh, what was Zanzibar not sure what they've renamed it to um, so we got on enter on here and then we've got an on enter off so basically what happens here is if I enter this circle it's going to broadcast a message to this door because they've they're on the same channel and it's going to tell it to go on which the on message for this door opens it and then if we get that one so you can see the circle again and if we enter this one it's set to the same channel for this door and it will close the door again so quite simple then over here as with all of them we've got a toggle version so basically consolidating the two together so again same door it's linked together we just enter and it opens 
and then when it's fully opened we can enter again and it will close so if we jump back in it will send the other message to tell it to close this would be really good for if you wanted them um, either side of the door so you could have a, a box here a, a, a trigger here even and a trigger on the other side so that when you approach the door it will open and then when you get to the other side you can go through the thing again and it'll close behind you moving on we've got another trigger here uh, this is on exit on and on exit off these work the same way as the on enters but as you as the name may tell it <laughs> it triggers the item at uh, the message when you leave the area so as you can see we're in the area nothing's happening leave the area it sends the message we'll uh, highlight this one just so that we can get the circle up so you can see and then again we're in the area nothing seems to be happening but if we leave the area it'll play the animation what I could see this one being used for is say if you wanted something a little bit further back so like say if we had the trigger around this area and we walked through the doorway by the time we got to the door here it would probably be open but we also use this in the timed walkways to uh, set a timer off so they, they've all got their own functions and then again we've got a toggle so let's just show you the toggle if we leave here we are and then same thing go back in when it's done come back out and it'll play the other animation there we are right these ones are a little bit different so we've got on stay on and on stay off these two are linked to this red uh, EMP machine thing so basically what this is going to do is while we're in the area it will play the uh, animation or it will do the timer or whatever we have it linked to so uh, if you can see in here it says we're in there so what it's going to do is play through the animation and then when we leave the area it's going to stay in that state but until we go into the on state off so once we stand in the off it's going to send the other message to say turn off which that's the state of it turning off for this one the toggle one works slightly different this is what you would expect on the stay to be really so if we show you this one basically this one's set up to the blue one so while ever we're in the area it's going to do it's going to play the animation and it's going to stay in that state while we stand here but if we leave it's going to return to its original state so i could see this being useful for something like attack and defend maybe where say you're inside your base you've got one of these areas down and maybe link it up to a door so that while ever you're in your base the door remains closed but say the enemies throw a grenade in and it kills you you're no longer in the area so it opens the door for them to come in or maybe like so that they can get a vehicle inside instead of just people things like that and then this is our last one and this is a trigger on destroyed so basically we'll shoot this yellow area and it's linked to this light so if we just change to his needler shoot the area and you can see once the light once the light on this thing's gone off and it's been destroyed as they call it um, it turns the light off it's probably the most simple one so that's the basics of everything I hope it helps and look for some more advanced stuff particularly with the um, timers because I think there's a lot that can be done with these timers and I'm looking forward to trying it out so thanks for watching if there's anything that wasn't clear to you please let me know because uh, I, I want to help you understand them 
and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.